Welcome back to the show, where the scene is changing every time, but the content isn't getting any better. We're going to be talking about a specific film stock today, and this is actually a film stock that isn't so well known. So the film in question is the Santa Rai 1000, which is a 1000 ISO black and white negative film. It's a new film stock coming from Finland, which is where I'm from, so that's why I'm probably interested in it. And it's available in 35mm, 120 medium format and now recently in bulk 35 also. The origin of this film isn't really known that well, but people think it might be originated in some kind of surveillance. It's also distributed by Camera Store, which is where I also got my roles from. And why I find this film interesting, it's because it's a 1000 ISO black and white film. We really don't have that many high ISO black and white films, like you have Ilford's Delta 3200 and then you have T Max. 3200. Those films are really grainy and not really fan favorites. Or then you can just like push HP5 uh, endless amount of stops. <laughs> the first role I shot was through this, the Porsche Reflex CTL, which is a really basic M42 screw mount SLR. And I developed this role in Ilford ID11 Dilution 1 plus 1 and the uh, picks turned out great. For my second role I shot it in my Smena symbol, which is this piece of plastic here. That role was developed in a Rodinal semi-stand. So agitate for like 30 seconds, let it sit for 30 minutes, then agitate twice and then let it sit for another 30 minutes. And even when shot and developed in that kind of high ISO, this film still gives really small and fine grain, which really helps in this like cold and really dark winter here in Finland. It also gives you some nice contrast and kind of average latitude. It's not amazing like HP5 where you can like overexpose it by four stops and see little to no difference. I would say that some shots that I developed in ID11 turned out with a bit of lacking contrast for my taste. It was pretty flat and I had to add a lot of contrast in post, whereas the shots I developed in Rodinal were, as expected, much more contrasty, which I liked. It also gives pretty sharp pictures without any really apparent downsides. And sometimes when you look at the pictures, I don't think you immediately notice that it's a high ISO film. However, there is one huge downside to this film, and that's how thin it is. Well, let me tell you, the experience of trying to put this film onto the spiral is one of the most nerve-wracking experiences I've had in my short life. The film is paper thin. Actually, no, it's even thinner than paper. You're kind of a superhero if you get it onto the spiral without it getting creased at all. But in 35mm especially, the film roll is so excruciatingly long that it's a miracle if you don't screw it up. I haven't tried it in 120, but I have heard it's not really that better. And having to do this process in the dark a few times, I have thought that is it really worth shooting this film and dealing with its downsides compared to just like shooting HP5 and pushing it to 800 or 1600 even. I haven't really concluded on that yet, I should really just try it. I have to say, shooting with this film is fun because you can shoot in situations you haven't been able to shoot earlier with film, especially me who is usually out when it's dark because I live in a different time zone because I'm a teenager. I like to use this film as a walk around film. When I'm out with my friends and need to quickly capture something, I'd like to use this film because it's relatively high ISO, but the film canisters, well, are hand rolled so they don't have DX coating on them which means I can't use like my automatic point and shoot cameras, which I would normally like to use when I go out and want to take pictures quickly. But anyways, if you're a wizard in the dark or otherwise like challenges with your film, it's great if you require a bit more speed from your film and it just looks great in my opinion. I'll put links below to camera store where you can buy this film and Comment down below if there's any other film stocks you would like to see me try in the future. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.